What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Lone Wolf 902. In today's video we're going to be talking about SRM knives. I have two knives that they sent to me. Never heard of them before until I received these. Let's get right into it and talk about the two folding knives. So like I said I've never heard of SRM knives before and I'm not really a huge fan of folding knives. I like fixed blade knives because I like using them as a hatchet and as, a, as a, an axe for wood processing. I like batoning. I like uh, using it as a really really heavy duty tool. So when they contacted me and they said hey we've got some interesting uh, tactical folding knives I said, sure, I'll check them out. And I'm really happy I did because these are outstanding, outstanding. So I have two different models. Let's get it out of the box here. And I requested them both in Coyote Tan. They do come in different colors, the two that they sent to me. That in my pocket, get this off the table. So like I said, two different models, very nice Coyote Tan. So there's one model. And then again, Coyote Tan, here's the other model. I'll come in for a close up in a little bit, but I wanna talk about the, the pamphlet that they gave to me because on it, we've got a look at a whole bunch of different products that they make from fixed blades to other folders. They've got a shovel, they've got a pick, they, they've got a really lot of, of interesting products and they're actually on Instagram and I've been following them very closely because there are a lot of very interesting products that I'm very interested in having and testing. So hopefully we can develop a relationship and I get my hands on a few more pieces of gear because I'm always interested in testing new products. All right guys, so looking at the knives that we've got here and the piece of literature that they sent in the packaging, uh, this guy right here is model 9211. It is available in black and coyote tan. Let's talk about the specs. So it is 8.33 inches long. That's the whole length of the knife open. The weight is 3.46 ounces. The blade length, just the blade itself, is 3.57 inches long. The thickness of the blade is 0.12 inches, which is 3.1 millimeters. So that's the thickness of the blade. The black material is 8CR13MOV steel. The handle is a G10, very nice, and it has an ambidextrous lock. So let's have a look at this knife first. So this first knife, this is the 9211. Uh, it does have an ambidextrous lock, so it's very, very interesting. It's got one side and on the other side, it's just a straight pull back with two fingers. Pull back, close it, and then once you get to a certain point, it actually closes on itself. So it is a little assisted. I can feel it right there. So if I just tap that a little bit, it auto shuts. Now this feature is really neat with a lot of knives because some are not so great. Some are too good to the point where you really got to slam it shut. This knife I find is best of both worlds. It doesn't open extremely easy. So it's not going to fly out while it's in your pocket or while you're pulling it off your belt clip, but it does open firmly. I should say firmly. And then it locks in very firmly as well. So you can see that nice little lock. It does have a little thumb area here to help deploy the blade. So while you got it pocketed, you can actually get your thumb in there, open it. I don't find it's in a great spot though. You, you see, I kind of struggled with that a little bit. I feel it should have been lower on the blade because it's right up near the hinge point of the blade. If they would have lowered it, it would make it easier to, to open the knife without putting your thumb in danger of actually getting cut. So. These knives are very sharp, I should mention that. Very, very sharp. Uh, with the long, slender design of this knife, I it, it's excellent for food processing. Very, very nice. It's got kind of that Tonto feel where the blade swoops up. It's nice, long, slender. The, the handle is nice, long, and slender as well. It does have a little pommel down here with a lanyard hole, and it does have a belt clip on one side that's removable, but it does not go on the other side. It just fits on one side. Um, very nice grippy g10 and with it like i said it being long and slender it makes a great fishing knife for cleaning fish food processing very nice very 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 fine carving as well that tip can fit right in the nooks and crannies of wood whatever you're carving forks maybe spoons uh really really nice and it's got this nice black finish to it too to help protect that coating on the blade um 
really interesting design. So let's check the sharpness of this knife because I have used this for food a little bit and I've actually done very, very minor carving with it. So let's just go ahead and check a paper test. I got paper behind the camera and then we'll work a piece of softwood and see what we can do with it. Not bad. So like I said, I've been using this knife for light food prep, light woodworking, carving. Uh, it's, it's still very, very sharp. Uh, that point is extremely sharp as well. So like I said, it makes a really, really good knife for food prep, for cleaning game, for cleaning fish, uh, intricate carving. Very nice and very sleek design. And with the ambidextrous lock, I actually like that. I can kind of squeeze it with both hands. You can unlock it with just one thumb if, if you like to, but I find it really easy. Two fingers, bam, close it, pop it on your, your belt right there or your pant pocket, whatever. Pop it in your backpack, hook it on. Really nice, slim design from SRM Knives. Um, I'm, I'm loving it. I am. I'm really loving it. I'm not a big folder fan, but I might be now. So... That's the 9211. Let's have a look at the other knife that they sent in Coyote Tan and let's go over some of those specs. All right, so here we have the second knife again in Coyote Tan as I requested. Again, it has a very nice pommel with a little bit of a lanyard hole. This belt clip is removable and you can rotate it to the other side. So you can remove that little belt clip there. Unlike the other knife, you can't remove it and put it on the other side. This one you can. Uh, this one does have an ambidextrous lock just like the other knife. So both sides, nice little straight pullback. Uh, it has a very large hole for opening the blade, so you can open it very, very easy, and you can lock it, unlock it very easily. So nice slick design there. SRM logo on the side. On the other side, it gives you the steel quality, which we're going to get into right now. So let's talk about the specs. This is the 9201 model uh the full length is 8.09 inches long the weight is 3.39 ounces the blade length is 3.54 inches so that's just the blade the blade thickness is 3.1 millimeters thick the blade material blade is a d2 steel which i really like so that's d2 steel the handle material, again, on both of these is a G10, so Coyote Tan G10, very nice. And the locking mechanism, of course, is the ambidextrous lock. So, there is another knife very similar to this. I'm just looking at it right now. It's a 9202. Man, that looks very, very similar. The, the 9202 has a swoop up right here. The 9201 does not, but it appears to have the same specs other than... So it's a completely the same knife. It's just a little bit of a swoop here, and it looks like it's got jimping so you can really lock in your thumb. So if you are looking for the 9201, this knife right here, there is another knife that is very, very similar. The difference is right here, it goes up. So... Keep, keep an eye on that if you are looking. So let's check out the sharpness because we did the paper test on this guy. Let's do a paper test on this and then we're gonna do a little bit of a wood test on both of them to see. We'll get the paperwork out of the way. Uh, and like I said, with this knife, I have been doing light woodworking, light food prep. Same with this. It still feels very, very sharp. Um, and this knife is a black coating. This knife is more of a stone wash finish. So it's got a really, really nice kind of a steel stone wash look. Let's get the paper out and let's give it a shot. We will go for this corner here. Not bad. Not bad. Caught that one there. Pretty sharp. So been using both of them. Go with this guy again. Let's try this guy again. Oh, caught there. Caught there again. Oh. So this one may need to be touched up a little bit, or might just be the way I'm cutting, but you can still see that they are both very, very sharp. Uh, let's let's try some wood. Let's let's get a piece of wood. I've got a piece of softwood over here. I'll grab that and we'll see what they could both do. Now, like I said, they are folding knives. I don't, I don't intend on batoning them or beating the snout out of them like I do my other knives. 
This knife is just going to be for food, I think, and very, very light carving. This knife I'm probably going to use as a utility knife for cutting paracord, a little bit of carving. I don't probably won't do any food prep with that. Um, the blade length is about the same, so we can check that. We can check that. The blade length on the 9201 is 3.54 inches. And on the 9211 is 3.57. So this one is a tiny, tiny bit longer. Um, but just, just the overall shape of this knife, it, it tells me it's a food knife. This knife looks like a, a it can be a food knife, but I, I say it's more of a general purpose knife. So let's get a piece of hardwood. I'll get it up, or a piece of softwood. I'll get it up here and we'll do a little bit of carving. All right, so let's come in with the 9211. See what this little guy can do. Same piece of wood that I've been using on a lot of my other knife demonstrations. So let's start right up here. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that baby curl. And that's using the, the little Tonto type edge as a chisel. I'm just pushing straight down. I'm not, I'm not doing any sliding motion. I'm just kind of pushing straight down to see what it can do. And it does generate pretty fine curls. Now if we just nip that off and we come into the flat portion of the blade... It's still got quite a bit of bite to it. it. It's it's difficult to manipulate in the wood because it's so small and it is so light that uh, you can get a good technique with it. But like I said, it, it is a little bit more cumbersome, a little harder than uh, than what a large fixed blade knife would be. But it does generate some very very fine curls. Now digging in, that's where it kind of it it stops working. It, it doesn't really want to dig in a whole lot. And it is a folder. It is a folder. Okay, so I don't really want to go stressing that joint and breaking it apart. Nip that off of there. Go back to the fine work. It does produce very, very fine work. And it's effortless. I'm not I'm not really putting a lot of effort into that. So that's the 9211. Let's try the 9201. Okay, so get that out of the way. This knife, much the same design, kind of the same purpose, except I find it a little bit easier to work in the wood. And it does carve very, very nicely. See, this one really likes to dig deep. No problem at all. And that's with very, very minimal effort. Very minimal effort. You get really, really nice fine curls if you really want to. Working on the top there. Digging in. Coming down towards the lock. This knife is a little bit easier to manipulate, I gotta say. For woodwork, at least. That little bit of jimping right there does actually help. And it does seem to, to want to dig in quite a bit. So, both knives are very, very sharp. Like I said, this knife more food prep, this knife more general tasks. Uh, very happy with them. Very happy with the locking mechanisms. They both lock up very nicely. They both have very nice lanyard holes. Uh, very nice designs, and the G10 is quite grippy in bare hand, even when it's wet. So that basically wraps up the short little demonstration review type video uh, for SRM knives. I'm not a knife review channel, like I've said in many other videos. I don't really look at the whole knives. I, they are tools. They do work very, very well. Um, but I do like showing you guys what I'm using because I get asked a lot of questions on what knife is that, what backpack is that. So these are two knives from SRM Knives. Very, very high quality. I will say I do really enjoy them a lot. And that's that's coming from a guy that uh, doesn't really have many folding knives. So SRM is putting out some very nice knives. Uh, I, I do have a use for them, actually, because they do fit really, really easily in into your pack on some molly straps. They can click on there. Um, they, they're, they're easy to use for very, very small tasks. They're not hard on the wrist. They're not hard on the hand. Just where they're a smaller size, like I said, you can really get in intricate work carving and whatnot. So my larger fixed blade knives definitely will not be going anywhere. Always love a fixed blade knife, but these are very handy. So SRM knives, check them out. If you guys have any questions that I didn't cover, and there's probably a lot that I didn't cover, uh, Drop it down in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to you on that. Till then, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.